So maybe you've cut your wedding, your music video, your sequence, promo, whatever, and you think, well, I'll add some grain or some fogging or some scratches, and you use the, the Blackmagic um, OFX to do that, which is fine, and it works really well. The only thing is, when you do that, about half a million other people are doing the same thing. It's all going to look a little bit samey. So what about if you bring in your own scratches from somewhere? which you have purchased. Now, this is a, a shameless little plug because all my archive of scratches, film shash, fogging, film rollouts that I've collected over 30 years is available in the FX PhD store, which you can buy and apply. Now, how do you do that? Now, you have to have it as physical media. That's what it is. It's not a digital created thing by human. This has been man-made and collected, so it actually exists as MOV files. I've gone through and graded it. These guys say I'd like a high con black and white with maybe some grain or fogging. The easiest way to do that or test for that is to use the timeline. So timeline means you grade everything. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna add a layer of Chanel, but first of all, I'm going to do the, the high con black and white that they want. I'm going to turn my, here. Yeah, I'm going to go in here, go into my RGB mixer, go monochrome, and then I can play with any of my channels like that. So I'm going to just push that, get a slightly different view, and you can see that has gone across everywhere. It's more of a, a high con look. I can use any of the other tools, so if I go to node 2, I may just want to lift that slightly like that and maybe just soften. I love using mid-tone detail. Just push that back. I'm not trying to sharpen it. I'm trying to soften everything. But here's the cool thing. This is where we want our scratches or fogging to come in. If I go to my media pool, I've got some already in there and I'm going to use, I've got fogging heavy. So what I'm going to do is drag that over. Just place it anywhere on the background of the node tree. And then I'm going to break this guy coming from number one. I'm going to feed this up into there like that. And then I'm going to feed this guy in here across there into there like that. I'm going to change the way I'm blending those together from normal. And I'm going to go down to an overlay like that, which means it will blend it through slightly differently. It's going to add a little bit of color coming through from that fogging. Pretty cool way of adding individual grain. It could be grain, could be scratches. I've just picked out a fogging one, which is actually a film roll fogging out. Get more information of all my color training at fxphd.com. Thanks for watching.